Y'all ready? Let's go, let's go, y'all ready? Let's go, let's go. Hey, my connectors, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. Join the family if you like the food. It's the place to be. You come and have a little fun with your girl, can't see. What's up, my connectors, and welcome back to the channel. So today, we are having a giant seafood boil in a bag. So if you are new to the channel, if you could please hit your subscribe button and your notification bell so you'll be notified when a new video is uploaded. Don't forget to share, like, leave me a comment. I truly appreciate it. So y'all know how we do. We're going to pour this out, have some extra sauce to the side, and then we're going to dig in. <laughs> All right, let's jump in. Okay. Mm. So anyway, we we <laughs> we got it all together now. Hey y'all, how are ya? Gonna eat a little bit, then we're gonna chit chat. I'm so hot. Mm. Mm, that's good. Ew, me. Trying to get me. They had some good snow crabs. When I went and picked these up, I'm like, dog, all of them look good. Ooh, don't fall, don't fall. Mm. I was happy. Oh, I love the snow crab sweet. Oh, that's good.
as you can see, it's lightning. I'm well, not lightning, not not lightning, thundering. It's thundering. Hope y'all somewhere safe. I was looking forward to this and it is not disappointing. You hear me? Give me a hit. Mm, 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 mm. This is good. <laughs> so thank y'all for watching the video yesterday. I truly, truly appreciate it. That was a fun video. If you haven't seen that, definitely check out the hot seat challenge from yesterday with Kiana. Although it felt like I was in the hot seat. But she told everything, okay? I was like, no. I feel attacked. <laughs> she couldn't wait to get some of that stuff off her chest. Well, she said she had fun. So thank y'all for engaging, leaving comments. Couple of y'all left comments or questions. I feel like that went straight on my eye. Y'all remember I had that piece of garlic on my cheek for the whole video? In the hot seat challenge where I put my mother-in-law in the hot seat challenge? It was a piece of garlic right here on my cheek. The entire time. Oh, this is good. So I'm going to answer some of those comments or questions. <clears throat> it's a big claw doing big things mm. Mm -mm. So one of the questions was Oh, somebody thought that I was serious when I said we live we moved in with Kiana or we live with Kiana. She just runs it like it's her house and we visitors. But we don't mind because we would rather be <laughs> out and about anyway. She can have it. It's hers. And then y'all ask, is Kiana moving out? Somebody had asked me that before. Kiana says she ain't going nowhere. <laughs> we'll move out before she does. And I told her I don't blame her. Because, baby, the way them people out there raising rent, you don't need to be out there struggling at all. 
We don't bother her. She don't bother us. We get along fine. The days of going out there, getting apartments or rental houses or whatever, and struggling, those days are over. If you have family members and y'all have a relationship where you could live together, I'm all for it. Um, I don't know. Y'all let me know. This will be the topic for today. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about, you know, putting your kids out as soon as they graduate, right? My views have definitely changed over the years. Mm. That's not good. Yeah, my views have changed. I told her she can stay as long as she wants to. Let me tell you why my views have changed. Well, let me know how y'all feel. Do you feel like your child should get out at exactly 18 years old as soon as they finish high school and go on to wherever, get them an apartment, a job, or do you think you're okay with giving them some time to find the things that they want to do or try some different stuff? Because when your rent is due, you ain't got time to be out there playing and trying different stuff. You got to make sure you got you got your bills paid. And that's frustrating. That leads your kids to not be able to try different stuff or not be able to build their careers or not be able to save money. Now, some kids are able to just go out there and make it happen. No problem. They ready to leave. If you got somebody that doesn't want to listen or pay bills or... Respect the house, then yeah, they gotta go. But if you got somebody in there that's trying, that's building, that's saving, that's investing, I say leave when you're ready. It's hard, it leads to depression, anxiety. Low self-esteem. I told each one of my kids, baby, if it get hard out there, come home. Regroup, save your money, whatever you got to do. But my door is always open. I'm going to always have, like my mom said, somewhere for my child to come home to. Lay your head. <clears throat> if it ain't a room, we'll make it a room. But it's, it's this room's here. There's always going to be a bed here. That's why my office will never be like an office or it'll always have a like a bed or something in it. Or either a couch that'll turn into a bed. So, yeah. I don't know. Times are just hard. It's inflation. It's... Jobs are changing. Technology is changing. And even if you made good money, things could still be tight. One incident can change every last one of our lives. You just one incident, one decision away for a totally different life. And everybody that's put on this earth is going to be tested. Everybody. Nobody's excluded. So, yeah, I told mine. I told her she could stay as long as she wants to. So to answer your question, now Kiana said she ain't going out there paying no twenty five hundred dollars in rent <laughs> for a one bedroom, probably barely a barely a two bedroom these days. Mm mm. And that she absolutely have to? And I don't blame her. Mmm. That juice soaked in here. But yeah, y'all let me know. How you feel about that? Because. When I grew up. 
My grandma was like, I don't care about your mama or your daddy. When you finish high school, you're going somewhere. Military or college? Your choice. And child, I'm around there playing around with them people. <laughs> yeah, high school. I'm like, dog, I had my last senior year. I had to take a whole bunch of stuff to make sure I got in school. And then they took forever with my letter. I'm like, no, I got to go down here. I think it was the day before I was supposed to go into the military. I got my acceptance letter. Yep, I was about to go to the Army. A day or that week or something like that. Mm. Oh, it's raining. That lady says she don't care nothing about your little mama and daddy. <laughs> I am glad she pushed me. I really am. So, I pushed my kids, but I let them know. And, of course, I knew I could always come back home or something like that if something happened. But she wanted me to go out there and try, which all of my kids have. They went out and tried it, whether it was college, a job, military. All three of them have. So again, thank y'all so much for supporting her channel. A lot of people ask me what was her channel. It's Cooking with Kiana. That's her channel. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, y'all can see my mess. I'm sorry. Oh, this is good. Mm-mm-mm. All right, y'all, so I want to go eat something new tomorrow, right? Let me tell you where I want to go. This girl made it look so good. Kava. I know a lot of y'all told me to go try it. I want to say Raven told me to go try it. I might be wrong, but I do remember one of you all told me to go try Kava. So she made it look so good. I want to go. If you have tried it, let me know what you get. Let me know what I should get. Like a definite, like, oh, you got to try this. I might get two bowls. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited for real. I was like, oh my goodness. So yeah, that's what I want. Kava, C-A-V-A. I know y'all like, oh girl, you late. I am. <laughs> but I'm going tomorrow. We're going to mukbang Kava. So please let me know what you get. If you like it. Or if they keep comparing it to Chipotle. So let me know if you like Chipotle better than Kava or you like Kava better. I've never had falafel. I think that's what the name of it is. I didn't look it up. I'm going to look it up before I go. Because I don't know what it is. But everybody that got their bowl, not everybody, but the majority of people I watched, they was like, okay, this I got falafel. It was like I got, um, it's a sauce that started with an H. I don't remember. But I'm excited about trying it. Yes. Ooh, I'm going to splash this stuff in my face. So let me know. The video will probably be up by 4 o'clock because I'm going to be there bright and early. <laughs> I'm going to be there bright and early. Mm. So we eating tomorrow.
I love when it rains and I'm home. As long as I'm home, I'm fine. All right. Let me eat a little bit more and then. This is so good. These black muscles good too. Mmm. That's what y'all asked me how the green green lip muscle says. It tastes like clams and oysters mixed together. Clams are kind of chewy. Oysters got that soft texture or that, you know, taste to it. And that's what it reminds me of, just mixing those two together. If you don't never try muscles, I say start with the black ones. I think, in my opinion. I know I probably said that before, but yeah, just in case. Woo. So, yeah. Thank y'all for watching Hot Seat. Oh, y'all told me to put Kid in the hot seat. So, when does he get a chance to, you know, come down here and mess with us? <laughs> I'll ask him. But Leisha says she ready. She don't have no problem. She ready. <laughs> ask away. So, yeah. Um, mm, I don't know if I said it. It's coconut water. I got sauce on my face. It's terrible. All right, y'all. That was my little messy boil in the bag. I got sauce all back here on the on the thing. So thank y'all so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Much love, peace, and blessings. Let me don't forget about Kava, cause I want to go tomorrow, and I want to know what to get. I might just be like, lady, just put everything in the bowl. Just put everything on. <laughs> I almost choked. I might tell the lady, lady, just put everything you got up there in the bowl. Give me three bowls and just put everything in there. But, yeah, so thank y'all so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Much love, peace, and blessings to each and every one of you. And until the next video, continue making connections with endless possibilities. I love y'all. Bye, y'all. <laughs>